Hey, it's Chris, and welcome to another edition of Unbelievably Useful Mac Apps. Actually, I think this series is super useful, and you guys seem to like the Mac version almost more than anything. And this is gonna be one of my favorite episodes because the two items that I saved for last are almost just like super mega hacks all on their own. And the first item too will probably seriously blow you away as well, although, all this stuff, honestly, is pretty awesome. Today's sponsor is Blizz, a collaboration tool that keeps you connected to your contacts and your global team through video, voice, instant chat messaging, screen sharing, and more on any device, anywhere. Blizz gives you HD video and audio, 4K screen sharing, and can scale for meetings with up to 300 plus participants. With conference recording and secure end-to-end -end encrypted chat, and with a free plan for small teams and personal use, Blizz is an excellent choice for your business's communication needs. There's too many awesome features to tell you about here, but you can check out Blizz for yourself using the link down in the description. First up today, we're gonna be talking about an app called Control Air, which actually, what do you guys think it means based on that name? Because it's actually a very good description, unless you think that it actually lets you control the air because no. Control Air lets you control media on your Mac, like music from iTunes or Apple Music, with just hand gestures, so you don't even have to touch your computer to play or pause or adjust the volume or mute or unmute. Control Air, I guess it could depend on how many beans you had earlier in the day. In that case, then maybe there's some air that needs to be controlled. Here's the thing though, this is a cool idea. Like, I get phone calls sometimes when the music's playing and I hate having to concentrate on pushing the buttons, trying to turn it off and pause while I'm paying attention to the phone call. This is much, much easier to use. It's just a reflex. It's super natural. Well, not super natural. It's just naturally super, obviously. Next up, let me tell you about PaceBot, which no, it's not an Elmer's glue bottle that suddenly became self-aware and wants to glue your toilet seat down. This is an app that takes copying and pasting to an entirely new level. With PaceBot, you can quickly recall clippings you've copied before and apply powerful formatting filters before you hit paste. That's cool and all just by itself, but what's seriously awesome is the ability to queue up multiple clippings, which you can then paste in sequence. Like, do you understand what this means? No more do you have to copy, switch windows, paste, copy, switch windows, paste. Now you can just load up a bunch of stuff, copy it all, and then paste it, paste it, paste it like a machine gun. Also, I just realized that while PaceBot is a good name, there's a huge missed opportunity here. The name for this could have been Sir Paste a lot. Sir Paste a lot. This next app's already been covered by my man Jonathan over at TLD, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go check it out. But Hue Sync will sync up your Hue lights, like the Hue lights I've got sitting around the studio, those colorful lights. Whatever model you've got, it will sync it up to the music or movies that you're listening to, any of your media using your Mac for a more immersive experience. So basically, movies just kind of pull you in a little bit more, I guess. Although there's definitely some movies that you don't want to get any closer into. Basically, if you love colorful lights like Richard from the last episode of Insanely Inspiring Apple Setups, which if you haven't seen already, you should definitely go check it out, I'm just saying, then this is right up your alley. The next app that we're gonna check out today is called Docky, which makes managing some of the more advanced features that are available for the dock a little bit easier, just as simple as clicking a button. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why don't I just hit the little apple, go to system preferences and manage the dock there? Well, you could, but not quite in the same way. If you want your dock to be faster, if it feels a little bit slow to you, then there's certain changes that you can only make in the terminal, which is like for coding people. If you're not into coding, if you don't get it, if you don't wanna mess with it, then this is a what you see is what you get interface. And yeah, it's really just simple. Price alert for Amazon. That's the name of the next app that I wanna show you. Why? Because you shop on Amazon all the time and there's probably certain products that you don't wanna buy until they're cheaper. Well, this product will let you know when they're cheaper, but it's a lot cooler than that. Instead of just alerting you when the price drops on an item, this app will also let you set an actual number that you want it to drop under and then alert you when it hits that number. And then you can even buy the product right out of the alert. You gotta be reasonable though. Like you can't just put like $10 for an Apple TV and expect that to happen. You're gonna be waiting a long time or forever. Where's my Apple TV, shiny? Okay, now we get to the end of the video where I saved two of the coolest apps in the entire series so far for your enjoyment. But if you want, I mean, I can still sit here and rattle off a few smaller apps just to kind of burn up some time. No? The first one is web to desk which isn't a Mac app itself. Instead, it's a web app that lets you turn any website into a Mac app. So for instance, you could take some of your favorite websites like Product Hunt, Sortable, Airtable, Workflowy, WhatsApp, and turn them into 
Mac apps. Or, and this is my absolute favorite part, you can take your favorite YouTube channel, like Daily Tech, and turn that into a Mac app. Hey, maybe you should give it a go right now, test it out. Make yourself a nice little Daily Tech app, set it to open and log in, and tell your friends how to do the exact same thing. <laughs> So this is very customizable. You can choose your own label and name and give it a custom icon as well. It's pretty cool. The final app that I wanna show you guys today is called Make OS X Great Again, which is pretty funny all on its own. But what this does is a few very simple things. Very simple, but maybe very important. Number one, it gets rid of those Mac update notifications that may or may not occasionally bug you. Bloop, hey, it's time to update. Bloop, hey, it's still time to update. Bloop, oh, did you realize? It's time to update. The second thing that this does, and I'm guessing a lot of people are really gonna love this, is that it stops iTunes from automatically opening every time you plug in your iPhone. Yeah. Lastly, you can change the default save location for screenshots from the desktop to somewhere else, which is probably a little bit less relevant now that we have stacks in macOS Mojave, but still. So thanks for watching today, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm not gonna sit here and ask you to subscribe because that gets kind of old, right? Actually, I'm just gonna tell you you need to subscribe, go hit the button. If you're not following me already on Instagram and Twitter, I'm at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K -K, in both of those places, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.